zero copy architecture is a philosophy. It's not tooling. I'll get into what that means. So traditional data warehouses copy data to central locations. They clean it up overnight, and then they make it available for reporting. But depending on your needs, Agentic AI cannot wait for overnight batch jobs. If you want real-time data today, that won't work. So agents need real-time data access to authoritative source systems if you want real-time conversations with your data. Now, if you are okay with having day delayed or longer data and you just, you're fine with that and most of your use cases are with last week's data or last month's data, this gets easier. The key shift to think about is that the behavior of the business user is also evolving. So part of why in the Salesforce survey, companies were 34% likely, more likely to succeed if they used a zero copy approach, which is where you don't copy it to a central location. You just tell the AI to query the data where it lives in all of your different systems. Part of why they were more successful is because they were able to architect the entire system exactly the way they wanted without trying to buy from different vendors and cobble a system together. And so this is in line with other surveys we've seen of executive leadership that have emphasized that it is really important for executives to invest in internal capacity for architecting systems if you want the ability to build and sustain AI long-term. 